So welcome to Profile 3 TV, and today we're joined by Sheena Bailey, who's from Test Reach. So Sheena, thank you very much for taking time out to talk to us today. Thank you. Excellent. So you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about yourself, your background, and what is Test Reach? Yeah, sure. So um, I guess I'm Sheena Bailey, as I said, I'm CEO of Test Reach. Um, my background really is as business studies from Trinity College Dublin. I did that a long time ago now. Uh, came out of there still not knowing what I wanted to do. I think I had dreams of becoming a literary agent or, or something along those lines. Um, but uh, essentially fell into the technology world and uh, found uh, a real uh, good spot for myself there. Um, and lastly, was focused very much on uh, learning assessment solutions and also learning management solutions. And I guess that's where uh, myself and my co-founder Luella Morton uh, came up with the idea for, for Test Reach. We were very much in that learning space um, and we saw, uh, I guess, a, a gap in the market. Um, uh, the, the sort of the, the, uh, the demand for global qualifications has never been higher and it's growing at an exponential rate. And learning management solutions are very good at addressing how to deliver knowledge at scale. But really, uh, people want qualifications because qualifications equals wages. Uh, and it's uh, there's a direct link between the level of your qualification attainment and uh, how much money you're earning power. Um, so the qualification is really important, but typically at the end of an e-learning course, you would be told to go to some uh, test center, which may be in the next city, but maybe in the next country or even the next continent, depending on what you were doing. Um, and you might have to sit down at a rickety old computer or in many cases still today, uh, and pen and paper and write for three hours uh, to, to achieve that qualification. So, uh, so Test Street really was, uh, it was founded to address that problem, to be able to provide high stake uh, exams uh, at a scalable, uh, global level. So I guess that's a little bit of background. Wow, on that. No, in incredible. And of course, we all know, as you say, we all know about the online learning platforms. And, and uh, uh, I've done a few courses myself. And you, as you say, you sit and do the little test at the end. But you're, you're actually taking that, that qualification or the certification at that, that final stage of making sure that it's uh, done correctly and, and done right and uh, available for everyone to do then. Yeah, exactly. So I guess that what we offer is a full end-to-end -end assessment solution. So you can create uh, and author your questions, your tests, everything from, you know, simple multiple choice questions right through to sort of spreadsheets or video recording like we're doing today. Um, and uh, then you can deliver them in a variety of ways. But I guess the real thing that uh, a lot of our customers love about us is, is our remote and vigilation solution. So literally at a flick of the switch, uh, you, uh, an examiner can decide that an exam is going to be delivered by remote invigilation. Some people call it remote proctoring. Uh, it's a bit of an Americanism. Um, but uh, essentially what that means is that we watch the candidates in real time over the web as they take their exams, very much like we're doing now, um, through video, through audio, through screen capture. And then in the background, we also have a number of things running which are checking the computer, which add additional security. So our customers are really looking for, well, they're looking for scale, but they're also looking for uh, primary things are authenticity, and security. So the security of the actual exam environment, you know, um, and then authenticity. So is the candidate who's sitting that exam actually who they say they are? And because we do uh, remote invigilation in real time, so we monitor candidates from the very beginning to the very end of the exam, we're able to ensure that for our customers uh, in the end to end process. Amazing. And actually, you know, again, living in the digital world, uh, and I've seen the how the online education system have, has developed. And mm. that was probably one of the biggest weaknesses was that you could do a course and, and you, you get to the end and you'd, you'd print out a little cert and you'd see yeah. people with it on their profiles, but you'd never actually know for sure if it was that person that did the course or not. Um, so yes. actually you're, you're adding the layer to that. And I actually have seen something like this now uh, live for the first time. I've seen someone doing a test. And they were explaining to me, uh, hence why the reach out, but I guess they were explaining yeah. to me 
that um, as they did the test that there would be random screenshots or something was happening and that they were being verified that they were actually doing uh, the test and I thought that was incredible. I didn't know that that even existed. So Yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of, uh, yeah, all sorts of things that you can, you can essentially put into the mix to ensure uh, that security. Amazing. And, and when I go through your site and I look at your uh, clients and who you're working with, you've got some incredible uh, companies that you're working with and organizations. How, how did you uh, market your, your product to the global yeah. audience? How, how have you reached out and become yeah. so well known? Yeah, so I guess, you know, we do. We literally deliver uh, exams in every corner of the globe um, across all of the continents. Um, and I guess one of the things that we are is obviously we're a business to business um, uh, uh, sale. You know, that's what we do. Um, so we know who our customers are. Um, and I guess, you know, when you know who your customers are, it's a little bit easier to reach them. And um, we very much focus our marketing efforts on our core markets. So that's um, the UK, Ireland, Benelux, and the DAC region as well. Um, and we're able to do a lot of uh, essentially web campaigns, but also very dedicated web campaigns where we're reaching out to the people uh, that we want to talk to. Um, I guess one of the reasons I think we've been very successful in terms of the, the, the high profile names that we have on our client list is that we are very much focused on our customer. We really get to know our customer. We uh, partner with them. It can be a bit of a trite phrase, but we truly believe it. Uh, and then the other side of it is um, uh, we basically bring very simple uh, technology, but they address the real concerns that our, our customers have. So uh, I think that's probably why we've been uh, so successful to date. Incredible. And how, how do you maintain or, or ensure that you have that level of quality in your service at all times? Yeah, so that's an interesting question. I mean, obviously, from a remote invigilation perspective, uh, we provide all that invigilation ourselves. I know there's other providers out there who might use third parties, etc. But we do it all in-house. Um, we have the support structures, the training structures, the quality structures, and then obviously the technology plays a big piece as well. Amazing. And that's probably a, a key differentiator then between yourself and the competitors. Is that, is that, is that what you'd say? Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, we, there are, I guess, um, solutions out there which maybe wouldn't um, know quite as much about their own product and their invigilators or supervisors might be able to answer, you know, not even be able to answer the most basic questions about the assessment platform. And that can be a very frustrating experience um, for uh, candidates in particular, because obviously, for most people, for the majority of uh, people, examinations are intimidating. They get the heart rate racing. We've got candidates who come in and can't even remember their own name. So, you know, it is, uh, it is really important that they're put at their ease, that they have a, a good experience when they're taking their exams. Um, and I guess we can provide that level of quality in the service that we provide, and that's much appreciated. Oh, very good. And it's very clear talking to you and, and obviously with your success, you've got a, a very clear strategy for your business. So yeah. I'm just wondering, would you have any tips or advice for other business owners who are working on their strategy uh, and, and thinking of what, what, what they should be doing in the year ahead? Yeah, yeah. So I definitely think, you know, in terms of looking at, at your business, I mean, it's all about knowing that your customer. Um, if you can know your customer and not just superficially, but really understand what it is, what are the drivers, where they want to spend their money, what problems they actually want to solve, uh, where they're willing to put the, I guess, the, the money behind solving a problem. Um, that is the absolute core. And then you can build a strategy around that. Ask yourself the questions, you know, does your product actually meet that expectation? Can you do it? How do you change in order to meet that expectation? Um, and so I think that if you've got a product market fit, obviously that really, really helps. Um, and everything else then becomes, you know, uh, about doing things well and doing it to the best of your abilities. Um, but yeah, to focus in on your strategy, I think everybody needs a long-term goal as well. We have a five-year plan here in TestReach. We've had a, a rolling five-year plan since we began uh, and we're very focused and we align everybody to that uh, five-year plan. 
Amazing. I have a little bit of homework to do because I do not have a five-year plan. But I, but I can see, again, an evidence to uh, uh, how well it's working. So that's my lesson for the day. So thank you for sharing that. And, okay. and, and online education is so, you know, oh my word, you know, I think back, uh, university and prices are rising and mm. investment here in Ireland and UK yeah. and I know in America obviously different level again and, yeah. and the online education is, is is becoming more and more I think um normalized uh which is which is really good do you think that will continue like what what do you think the future will hold for universities yeah. and online platforms yeah. and especially I, I'm excited with yourselves coming in because actually it, it does make it safer uh, for yeah. companies and for people who are investing in the course, it's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, obviously, there's still always going to be a place for sort of universities. And I think that a lot of people want that university experience. I mean, I know that I had a, a great time, as, as many of my friends will attest, when I was back in uh, college days. So, you know, there's always going to be a place for that. But I think we will see sort of the breakup of education. So people uh, doing smaller chunks. Uh, completing smaller chunks and um, moving on and maybe uh, that continuous learning so um, you know uh, essentially my you know I look at my father-in-law he's he's 99 um, he's now retired longer than he was working he was in pretty much I think he had about two or three jobs in his lifetime but all doing sort of the same thing whereas I think uh, for our the you know the latest generations coming up they're going to probably have you know five ten different uh, really different careers within that time and so that self-learning that requalification as they go through life is going to be really important for them amazing i i just said it's totally through i'm definitely on, on my second career at the moment so yeah. uh, i'm hoping there's not another one in maybe <laughs> you know, <start> know. <laughs> yeah, dear, no, no enough enough I'll, I'll, I'll focus at this and and uh, see it out so what yeah. to do and, and and then for test reach itself what what's the future yeah. what's the roadmap looking like yeah, so we've got um, some obviously really ambitious plans for TestReach. Um, for 2019, it's going to be very much doing a little bit more of what we've been doing to date, looking after our customers, making sure that we're delivering for our customers, making sure that we're staying close to our customers. But we also have a couple of other products in the pipeline, which we're really excited about, which we think uh, will set us up very nicely for the future. Amazing! I can't wait to see. And my last question, of, as, a, as a, a second last question, I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> getting greedy. Uh, what's what's the the market like? Uh, you're you're based in Dublin. Yeah, we're based in Dublin, but um, we ha do an awful lot of business in the UK and Europe. Um, so you know, we're, we're we travel fairly regularly. That would have to be said. Um, but uh, I think you know. I think things are looking bright. I think people are more and more, uh, particularly in Europe, as their home markets become saturated, they're looking to move their qualifications to a global level. And obviously that's something we can help them with. Amazing, excellent. So if anyone wants to find out more about uh, Test Reach, uh, what's, yeah. what's the best way to, to do that then? Yeah, so I mean, just uh, get in touch. Our website is uh, obviously www.testreach.com um, info at testreach.com as well um, or reach out to myself or anybody on the team that you find on LinkedIn is no problem at all. Amazing, Sheena. Thank you very much for your time. That was incredible. So I appreciate that. So hopefully you've enjoyed the, the video today and we've learned something new about online education <laughs> that we didn't know before. Please do check out, obviously, Test Reach in the links below this video or in the article uh, as you read it. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's Kieran from Profile3 and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Thank you.